In the last episode, we wrapped up boat projects, our storage unit, and Elisa's school in Sitka, and then we visited different bays, waiting out storms on our way back to Petersburg. It's a place to stay warm and dry with our enclosed bimini. That's awesome, that's a first. Someone had a great hunting trip. Yum yum. Three, there's one. That's some good moose. No, there's more than that. There's one, two. All right, getting ready to finish the laundry. It is busy in here. Okay, so Elise is helping me cart the laundry back and of course it's raining now. Hey Elise. <laughs> Yes, we've makeshifted garbage bags. Eek. But the dock is almost level. <laughs> well, high tide. Way nicer to cart things. Way, way nicer. So tomorrow we have to um, pack all of our AM help boxes uh, that we're getting off the boat so that way we have less that we're taking to Canada for customs and also hopefully making it more comfortable for our company that's coming. Okay, it's 6 a.m. and we are getting ready to hike these boxes up to the truck that we're borrowing. We're gonna take them to AML so there's a few less things on the boat on our trip down through Canada. I'm gonna miss this harbor. I don't miss coming into the harbor because the tides are crazy. Look at all those birds. <laughs> they are pretty cool. I know they're a super common bird, but they're still fun to watch. Look at that. Okay, we're getting ready to take the last load up. Yes, Elise and I are wet and exhausted. Austin's up with the truck. Milo is pacing the boat. We had one week to prep the boat for our trip through Canada, ship our items on AML to my parents, and get ready for our new crew. We pick up our friends from the airport and Elise flies out. Then we start our journey to the Inside Passage and end up with unexpected delays due to storms. All right, new crew on. Elise is off. Okay, big hug guys. It's her first flight all by herself. Her daughter has the other phone. There she goes. Lisa's first plane ride by herself. She's got patches. She's heading to Grandma and Grandpa's. She is super excited. Slightly nerve-wracking when they couldn't land the first time due to fog. But Alaska airline pilots are very, very good. You're praying for good weather, a good, safe flight. Just left Petersburg. We're heading through the Wrangles Channel. So beautiful. We are in between storms right now. And Strawberry Lodge, which I have never noticed before. Or maybe coming in so pretty. Our trip through Canada. We are just getting our way to catch can, so we've got more days hopefully but we might have to stall and catch a can for a storm we want the storm to blow over before we go through the passage anyways to get to Prince Rupert
started way up in Petersburg. Oh, this is this is where that big water was. Yep. We went, yeah, well, we right here, and we went over there. Where we followed the ship in. And tomorrow, we'll go down here, big water, here. We did look right there. So the wind gonna go this way? It's gonna come up. Yes, right? that's correct. And so these were protecting us today. These hidden mountains. Compared to this thing, was to this open water right here. We get to go to Hitchin really again tomorrow. So tomorrow we'll be next storm and then we'll head yeah, to Prince River. We'll be headed out at 650. Vixen Inlet. It has been a super nice night. We are stuck pretty good. <laughs> to my bottom. We didn't move even with the wind, so it's have to say this is a decent anchorage. And it's very pretty. and we were getting to six foot seas and it was getting really rough. Austin decided to duck in. The storm's gonna be blowing really hard tonight. This is a beautiful little community and a nice sturdy dock. Oh yeah. I brought the sandwiches. Oh, here's the post office. Get a picture of that. While waiting out a big storm in Myers Chuck, we cook, we play games, and walk the island getting tours from the locals. We ordered cinnamon rolls from the postmaster and were grateful for a safe spot to wait out the storm. Watch the rope when you get up, okay? <laughs> it's pretty cool. See him from the beach. We have this big rock. This massive rock cliff here. Okay. This is a good spot. Hmm? Taking in the scenery. still pretty wet from last night. Mm -hmm. 
this one get pictures? I think so. Now we get some sunshine. It is so pretty. It's another break in the weather with the little blue sky. We're not done. We got another day of crazy storms. Look at how beautiful it is. It is windy. So beautiful. Power weir right there. It's a really cool place There's right there. Off that water. You can put a little power weir there. Could live here. I like this place right where we're at. The community center. Their first aid, their fire department in the back, DVDs, movies, books. That's pretty cool. This used to be the teacher's house, and this was a school. I can't even believe they had a school here. But I guess they said 15 students. It's amazing. Someone's now bought it and turned it into a house. It's absolutely gorgeous. They've done a lot of wonderful work. Pretty fantastic. Very cool. Whoa. That's scary since we're walking under that. Yeah, hey Scott, don't mm -hmm. look up. <laughs> nice. I might be running out the other side of the boat. Austin, is that Kevin? No. Is it? He just had a big new engine put in it. It can take off quick. All she's got. Oh, on step now. storm. Someone said there was a bunch of cohos coming up here. So we hiked around the corner to see if we could find some. already into them. So we have a little break in our storm. 
looks like a pretty big hurricane. Last night, water was just coming across this dock. It was crazy. Came up here to just help tie up a few extra lines. Put more lines on our boat. Waves were coming up here. The wind was blowing. Felt like about 65 knots. Then it started hailing. <laughs> they stayed up as long as we could, playing games and rocking in the boat. We have lots of lines on. It was pretty, pretty crazy. Felt like we were traveling in rough seas. We held good. Look at that. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and a safety line. <laughs> felt felt much better going to bed after that, though. Yeah, and we slept really good. So I don't know if it looks like I slept really good, but I did. And obviously the bears aren't around. Worry that bucket would not still be here. Over there, that red and gray roof house is the postmaster and her husband. And then the little tiny um, cabin right above the ramp is actually the U.S. Post Office. So it's pretty cool. Mail comes in twice a week, even delivering Amazon now. It delivers food, so they get about 400 to 600 pounds, I guess, between mail and I don't know if it's that includes the groceries or just the mail. So, in pretty stormy. I wanted to take a video of last night. That was crazy. The water flying across the dock. <laughs> Yeah, I want to go over there today, Bill. Get the post office. You interested? Caught out. Just went for a little dinghy ride. Got a little bit of sunshine. We're going to go visit the postmaster. We get pictures from our sailboat. Oh, duck. Do you have postcards? Send in our mail. The only time I've been to the post office. Oh, so beautiful. Checking out all the down trees on the path since the storm. Storm's still blowing, but it's not too bad right now. Now we get some sunshine. It is so pretty. Another break in the weather with a little blue sky. We're not done, we got another day of crazy storms. After getting a break in the weather and having a nice travel day, we make it to Ketchikan just in time to make our appointments so that we can get our COVID tests and be able to pass through the Canada border. Then we meet with friends for dinner and enjoy walking around the town before heading back to the boat 
so that we can get an early start the next morning. Just getting ready to leave Catch Can. Ten hours day. Ten hours day. So a lot depends on you know the condition. Because you know if you have a tailwind, you can build up, you can gain a couple knots, and gain some speed, you know. But it's too rough. Well, that's it. Twenty-two and a half knots of wind. We're going nine point eight. We're finally sailing, and we have wind. Okay, I'm going. Finally got some wind again and we were ready. Woohoo! We're a couple of hours out of Foggy Bay. That's where we're hoping to anchor for the night. And then tomorrow on to Prince Rupert. And then we'll probably have to duck in for another storm. But hopefully this one's only a day. The last one was like a four or five day. Or it was pretty big. They named the Florida storm Sam. And Alaska storm didn't get a name, but it covered the whole entire Gulf of Alaska. <laughs> Pretty crazy. Some friends said, oh, that's just called Thursday. <laughs> In the next episode, we finally make it to Canada and start our journey back to Anacortes through the Inside Passage, with stops to wait out storms along the way. 